Christians that are set forth in the world today. They've left nothing. They, 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 they're right back under Romans 13. Also, they're subject to the higher powers. They've not left the higher powers yet. Uh, well, unless, exactly. Unless, but, but can I can I interject then, um, Michael? <clears throat> and I appreciate what you're saying, but can I just interject? When you have a chance to read the whole of positive law, is not what I've said tonight uh, a superior claim of right? That is to say, the Roman cult is now being challenged on their assumed position of being the sole arbiter of divine law. Yes? Yes, and I think the challenge is the only way for one to establish that they are competent, because otherwise to sit back and watch your your rights being given away is to to stand in silence, which is agreement. You agree that that that's what you intended to have done. Otherwise, why would you stay silent? Well, can we do this? Because I know that there are lots of things that you and I can talk about, uh, but for the benefit of the wider group and the wider call, can we hold this idea over to hopefully the next call, if I have the opportunity, if you let me have the opportunity to talk again, where we can get into specific answers and start talking about how you express a unbreakable um, superior trust structure that no court, entity, alphabet agency on the planet can lawfully challenge. Can we leave it to the next call when we go through that? Oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll back off. I um, Yes, absolutely. And, and by the way, uh, I just want to thank you again for coming to the call tonight. We really appreciate you coming. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Michael Joseph. Frank, now, if, Frank while we uh, got an open spot here, um, I had already talked to Jim and J.D. and several others. And uh, as far as I know and uh, what we've conversed on the phone and uh, emails, uh, next Sunday and the following Sunday, um, and if we have to, we can put one more down uh, or whatever, but we would love to have you come back next Sunday and take up, you know, where you leave off tonight. Wonderful. I know you have a prior uh, engagement, and then we'd like to – set you up for the following week after that. We want to give you at least three good nights, and if you need an extra one or so, well, we can find out how to get that, too, because this is everybody needs, myself included, and again, mm -hmm. I thank you for coming. I should well, no, thank you also. Can I just ask, as a, as a general point, and I know it's very hard because everyone has, has busy lives and there's a lot to read, but in the references tonight, as much as people can read the positive law would just be enormously helpful because then <clears throat> you, I'm able to refer to things that that um, all of you hopefully will have a chance to have looked at, even if it doesn't make sense to start with. It just will in, improve the quality of what I can share with you, if that's okay. But thank you. I look forward to next weekend, certainly next Sunday. That I look forward to that. And, and I promise, as I said to Michael Joseph then, I, I make a promise now that on that call we will go through specific answers as to how to overcome this. So that, I look forward to that. But I, I'm still available for questions now. So. Is, is that available on the Orion Mind? Uh, yeah, sorry, I missed that. Download the call on the Divine Mind group as soon as J.D. posts it. Okay, but what he's talking about, the positive law, is that posted? Uh, no, you would have to go to one dash heaven. Dot org. Um, it's the best dead gum trust system I have ever seen. And, um, I mean, I'm no great authority. I was top of my class, but I'm just telling you, I have to run and scratch dirt to stay with him. Frank, uh, Michael Joseph again, do you, can you just briefly touch on the, what the V means, V-I-E, in regard to, uh, uh, Sarah Decay and, um, like there's a set of K trust that can that can drop down from the state in regard to a corporation, but can you speak to what the V means? Set of K V trust. Okay, <clears throat> I, 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 thank you, Michael Joseph. The, I mentioned earlier that that um, you will not find any clear definitions, knowledge, reference, uh, jurisprudence at all into the functions of Sesta K or Sesta K V. You'll see things on Sesta K use, 
you'll see things on Cesta K. Um, the reason the V is there in brackets is to make clear that Cesta K is Cesta K V. And even though they dropped the V, um, it was original uh, term. And effectively, there are several definitions that it comes from. One is uh, because the Act originally was written in French, even though it was an English statute, the name is in Latin, and the Latin name effectively is to bind a thing for life. That's uh, ultimately what the definition of Sesta KV, from what I've seen, uh, is supposed to mean, bind a thing for life. Um, excuse me just a moment, but can we find out and have for whoever that is making the noise, so please mute. It's most distracting when you're talking. Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, so to bind a thing for life, if you look at the preamble to the uh, Constitution of the United States, uh, they didn't mention their heirs by name, thereby creating a life trust. So they have an they have an unlimited trust there. They just said to ourselves and our posterity. So when you create a life trust, that that is a Sesta K V trust. It is for a lifetime, correct? No, no, that's not correct. Okay. No. No, um, the Sesta KV is designed to disenfranchise. Again, you will find if you if you study any Black's Law, if you study any of their systems, you'll get nothing but lies and and misinterpretation. Sadly, you have to go back to the base source when these things were originally created and moved forward. They so literally have to go back to the 16th century and, and study the, the documents that you get your hands on and move forward. But the short answer is is this. The U.S. Constitution um, does two things, uh, and, and just I want to talk about heirs for a second because this is an, another area of confusion. Uh, when you read positive law, you actually see a section about heirs. So let me just quickly read. I hope it's okay, Michael Joseph, just to cover this point about heirs because it is a please, please do. Thank you. Okay, all right. An heir is a. This is Canon 1072 of Article 75. 75. An heir is a beneficiary recognized by the higher estate to possess a prior right to a lesser estate unless excluded by will. Okay. The concept of heir is equivalent to the concept of title of nobility. An heir is always a person with beneficial entitlements to an estate also holding right of use of one or more honorifics, denoting the size of the estate and therefore the standing of the heir. Thus a sovereign traditionally denotes the holding of the largest kind of estate, while titles of nobility such as earl, baron, lord or esquire indicate successively smaller estates within the estate of the sovereign. So what we're saying here is, the, the families of the original witnesses, because they weren't signatories, they were merely witnesses. That's correct. To the, to the letter of demand, which is basically a letter of blackmail, uh, written to the king and ultimately resolved by having them appointed to Roman uh, uh, positions of authority by being called plenip uh, ministers plenipotentiary, which is a Vatican... Uh, position. It is not an English law position, it is a Vatican ecclesiastical position um, in the Treaties of Paris. When this was done <clears throat> and the, ultimately the Constitution was issued, it does two things. Uh, a will, so first the Constitution is a will of an estate, a deceased uh, estate, a testamentary trust. The uh, heirs are not named, and the will does not cover the property of the heirs. The will only covers the beneficial entitlements of those of the estate. And the reason it doesn't include anywhere in it details of what the heirs get is that wills exclude heirs. That's the nature of a will. An heir is a title of nobility. So if, if your father was a baron and you were living in England and your father dies, if he was to leave a will, 
he is about to exclude some of the estate from you and give it to someone else. That's the function of a will. Does that make sense? I know it's a bit tricky, but does that make sense, Michael Joseph? That actually does make sense. So, the, uh, okay, but the, please, please continue then. And so, if if one was wanting to uh, to to leave um, an, an estate to uh, his children or his posterity, then one would not create a will. One would create a trust. Correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, so instead of you know, um, by the way, I I claim the title of uh, priest, so uh, <laughs> I don't care what what they, you know, these other titles of nobility. I don't know. I didn't settle those titles, so I I can't claim their use. So uh, I kind of like to say that I'll leave it to my children. How about that? Well, the, um, the, the problem, yeah, it. it the problem at the moment, uh, and this is a problem that everyone needs to realise, so long as the CESTA KBs are in, in effect and you have not challenged it effectively, you do not own property. Correct. So so effectively, you're um, – now, would it be fair to say that you are enjoying the legal right of a usufruct in, in, in the sense that you are enjoying the use of a property that doesn't belong to uh, to you, per se? Uh, used to be, but even usufruct has been. You've got to remember that that because no one has legally challenged them. Remember, force has no effect. You can't win in law with force. Force is nothing. People think enforcement is everything. For, enforcement is nothing. It's all about the intellectual argument. It's a it's a battle of mind. It's a battle of concept. It's a battle of ideas. And so the problem is that uh, in the last seventy years. Um, the, the intellect of this and the battle of this is getting worse and worse and worse. They, they actually removed usufruct. Um, everything now is is uh, is effectively a benefit assigned to the SESTA KV, and uh, it's a service. So it's not even a right now. So so um, now, if a man decided that um, he he brought up his children to. Uh, to only uh, move about in this world in uh, in his in their baptismal names or their their given names, and do not attach a surname to their given names. Then, even though Sesta K uh, V exists, it remains dormant because the child refuses to use it because he's had proper training. Okay, uh, I say this to you, and this is the answer to this is the clear answer. Uh, all process is ritual and all ritual is magic and all magic is controlled by the Roman, Khazarian, Venetian, Scythian people that continue to treat us as slaves. There is no remedy whatsoever in procedure. All remedy is knowledge. No remedy is, or no answer is procedure. None. Right. So, so not, uppercase, lowercase, man, free man, all of that that we, we get into, which is labelling, not doing this, there is absolutely not a single solution to be found in procedure and process. And now I would agree. I, I'm I am 100% agreeing with you here that there is no. You can't just say I'll do this and and that's going to be. It goes to your trust. And I always say, Sun Tzu, if any controversy is won before its fault. Based on how you, um, what you've done before the fact. Yeah. Um, well, look, what we might do, and just because I'd love to hear Michael Joseph again, because there's so many things you and I can talk talk to, but I'd love to hear other other questions too. Is that all right? Just I want to. What I want to do. No, is, I apologise. I'm going to be quiet. No, 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 no. I mean, and I and I want to say I have enormous respect for your your contribution ability. Um, what we're going to do next week is is cover. Um, answers, and we're kind of tipping into that a bit now, because I know people obviously want to get on and say, well, how do we fix things, but but let, let's hold some of that for next week. Um, but is there any other questions people have just in terms... Is that right, Michael? Oh, no, it's perfectly. I didn't realise... I, I, I apologise to the people on the call, and I thank you, Frank, for bringing that to my attention. I, I apologise. No, 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 don't, don't, don't worry. No, just, I've crossed my time. I've only got about 15 minutes, and I just wanted to See if there are any more questions before I have to go, and, and uh, 
And then obviously next week we can get really in. And I want to 